And can you please uh, describe to the jury what you see here relative to um, uh, the defendant's leg positioning? Yes, the defendant's left knee, again, is still on Mr. Floyd's neck uh, or neck area, and his right knee is uh, on his back area. Can you tell the jury at what point in time, in your opinion, does the restraint itself begin? Based on my review of the body-worn video, uh, the restraint started at uh, 20, 19, and 14 seconds. Okay. And when does the restraint period end? I believe it was 20, 28, and 43 seconds. And sir, what is the duration then of that time period, the restraint period? Nine minutes and 29 seconds. So here you can see the defendant's right hand grasping the fingers of Mr. Floyd's left hand. You use and it term, squeezing him. I'm sorry. It appears to be squeezing him. Okay. And you use that term pain compliance. Can you please describe what that means? Yes, so pain compliance is a technique that officers use to get a subject to comply with their commands. Uh, as they comply, then they are rewarded with the reduction of pain. All right, so is it your testimony then that the drawing of the fingers down and the wrist down towards the handcuffs could induce pain? Yes, especially because the handcuffs were not double locked. Um, double locked meaning that they were not, they could continue to ratchet tighter as uh, the person moved. Were you able to hear instances of what you recognize to be ratcheting during the, your review of the body-worn cameras? Yes. So in the principle of pain compliance, if I'm to understand your testimony, you would inflict pain for the purpose of uh, having the subject uh, obey your command? Yes, comply. What if there's no opportunity for compliance? Uh, then at that point it's just pain. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.